What is up guys, Taiki here. Today I'm here to ask the question, is the Stegosaurus here? So if you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's get started. So obviously in the past couple of days, the price of the dino has fallen over 50%. And I mean, I expected the price to go down, but like not this fast, right? So uh, I guess this is more evidence to just be more humble. Uh, don't go for like the crazy 10X because think about how much money you had at the top uh, if you're in dino and then think about how much money everyone else had at the top, right? And it's normal for people to take profits. And I'm sure like there's fear in the market and whatnot, but uh, I mean, I ex we expected this, right? I mean, this this is the Stegosaurus. I mean, I, I see it clearly now. Like I was a little worried that uh, I would never see the Stegosaurus, but uh, I, I, can see, I can see him more cl clearly now. And in terms of top signals, they were definitely there. I, I, I encourage everyone to join my Discord. Uh, it's free, uh, it's in the link. To, the link is in the description below. And it's a pretty good sentiment check on how people feel about the markets. Because uh, literally at, like at the top, like people were posting pictures of Lambos buying their own tractors. Um, and I thought about buying my own tractor, but uh, I decided not to. I decided to be humble taking profits. Uh, because you, you never know, you, no one can ever time the top. So you just kind, kind of have to just slowly sell over time and just be happy with the gains. And I also want to touch on like top signals. I guess my channel is a pretty good top signal for future references because when I did my live stream, uh, the bull and bear case for Iron Finance, it marked the top uh, within three days. And when I did the bull and bear case for Dino Swap, it marked the top within two days. Right. So I guess whenever I make videos about Dino Swap uh, or was it like any uh, farm in the future uh, discussing the bull and bear case, maybe the sentiment around that farm is so euphoric that. You know, there's no incremental buyer left anymore, and maybe that's the best time to take profits. And I even told you guys to take profits, right? I mean, on Sunday I said, hey, like, just so you can dump on me, like, I'm not gonna take any profits. Actually, let's rewind back to what I actually said on Sunday, uh, to essentially telling you guys to dump on my face. You know, I'll probably start taking some profits next week, right? I'll just announce it, right? Uh, I'll just announce I'm not gonna sell today, right? So feel free to front run me in my in your selling or your, or your dollar cost average selling. But you know, starting Monday, I'll start to think about selling. And depending on market conditions, I, I, I might sell Monday, I might sell Friday, I, I, I don't know. I might not even sell at all. But uh, you know, like just expect me to start sell, like taking profits, be a humble yield farmer starting Monday. So you know, this is the first time I'm sure in crypto YouTube that you know you had a chance to you know sell before the influencer. So you know, I, I encourage everyone to take this opportunity to dump on my face. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty funny. Uh, I gave you guys a top, so congrats to anyone that took it. Uh, but, you know, it, it kind of marked the top, obviously. So maybe the next time I tell you to dump on my face, consider it, right? Consider it as a course of action. Consider it as a way to be humble and just not expect tokens with high inflation to go up forever. Obviously, the question is, okay, Taiki, like the token dropped over 50%. Like, like what are your thoughts, right? Like, what are your thoughts? And the question that I ask myself is, has the thesis changed, right? Because the reason I entered this forum is that I thought the price of Dino wouldn't look like this, right? Because there's actual VC backing behind it. They have a bunch of resources, partnerships, etc., and a bunch of new things coming uh, on the way. So given that I do think the price of Dino will trend down over time, but it will do so in a slow manner, right? And I call this the Stegosaurus pattern. It's a meme, like take it for what you will, but hey, it's playing out so far. And obviously it's bouncing a little bit and PooCoin doesn't let me draw on its charts. So I kind of had to just squiggle some lines and make it look like this to, uh, just so we can draw on this chart and come up with pot potential scenarios on what could happen to the price of Dino, right? You can kind of see the similarities here. I think it's good enough. So first let's go over like when I will exit the farm, right? Because uh, I'm, I'm in this for the Stegosaurus. So if I don't see the Stegosaurus, then I should exit the farm, right? That's how I think about it. And the way I think about it is like, okay, if the price of Dino uh, three weeks in gets below the opening price of the farm at $1.60, then I think the Stegosaurus thesis is invalidated. Uh, obviously, this isn't like a black and white answer, right? There's no way to tell, but I, I do think it's important for everyone to have some mental model of, okay, if I'm, I'm, I'm entering this farm with a certain plan, with a certain thesis, and if this happens, if X, Y, Z happens, then the thesis is no longer validated. And then that's a sign for me to exit the form. Because you don't want to be the guy just like hoping and hoping 
holding on to these tokens and hoping it goes up because hope is not a strategy. You got to have some plan uh, going into this. Because if it does, if the price of Dino do, does dump below a dollar sixty, let's say in the first month or so, then that that is that is not a Stegosaurus, right? Like that that is some ridiculously creepy looking creature that I want no part of. Uh, six months from now, if it's a dollar, if it's below a dollar sixty, like will I be surprised? Well, no, no, not really. Like if it's been going on for that long, then yeah, maybe uh, a Dino price under two dollars is reasonable. But this early, uh, I don't think. Uh, if this farm is good, I don't think it should get below that price. What I'm expecting is something along the lines of this. Obviously, like I'm, I, it, this, this took like six seconds to draw, so don't take it <laughs> with too much. Uh, I guess t take this with a grain of salt. But you know, my thesis has always been, you know, this is the price of the token. Uh, it's mostly likely going to be like this. So you know, farmers are just going to make money. They're not going to make a 10x, but hey, you can expect a 2x, 3x, whatever, uh, depending on how humble your profit taking strategies are. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not ruling out the, the moon boy case here, right? Like before the recent crash, people were commenting like, hey, like like $5 price target. Like what, what are, are you mad? Like this is the next pancake swap. It's going to $30. And I mean, I don't think that's likely, but it, it, there is a possibility, right? Like we can't take that, uh, I guess, potential off the table. And I guess like my way of hedging against like the super, super bull case is I'm never going to fully exit, right? Like when I first took profits, I took out 20% of my stack and most likely as it goes up, I'm going to take 20% of my stack, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm always going to hold on to some because if this thing does go to $30, like I don't need to have my initial stack to like make a lot of money, right? At, at that point with these high APRs, like even if I have like let's say a third of my stack uh, that I started with, I'll, I'll still be happy, right? Uh, because it's all about risk adjusted returns for farming, right? You can't just look back on like pancake swap and be like, oh, I wish I held and sold at the top because that's never going to happen. Uh, you just got to be humble. But you know, if the bull case is something that looks like this. I think this is like the price of pancake right now. It's some, it looks something along the lines. Uh, no, I'm not ruling it out, but like this is definitely not in my plans. Uh, maybe it, like depending on your research, like this is in your plans and like I wish you the best of luck. But hey, like my thesis has always been the Stegosaurus, the freaking Stegosaurus. And going back to the video I made yesterday, you know, a lot of people put too much emphasis on the price, right? When it comes to generating income, but revenue is, the, the, the equation for revenue is price times quantity, right? So whether the price goes up or the price goes down, as long as the quantity side of the equation uh, goes up enough, then you're still making money, right? Because if price goes down 10%, but the quantity of the assets you own go up 10%, then you're break even. If price remains stable and the quantity of assets that you own go up 50%, then you're up 50%, right? On your profits, on your revenues. And I do want to make one note about uh, VCs selling uh, because, you know, the, like I mentioned, like, I, I think that the VCs, they're going to start selling. They're not going to dump immediately because like they're economically incentivized to keep the price of this like, relatively stable, right? Uh, whether that's at $2, $3, I don't know, but hey, that's where I'm coming from. And in the most recent post by Raptor of DinoSwap, he said that, you know, we watched the addresses. Uh, there hasn't been any significant selling orders through all these addresses. So this means that the VCs and or the team have started to sell. Um, I wouldn't like bash them for this. I mean, I totally expect them to sell, right? In fact, I expect everyone to start selling over time. Th that's how farms work. You should dollar cost average over time because it's impossible to predict the top. Uh, so this is something that people should consider, right? Because I always say that the VCs are your friends until they aren't. Um, I still argue that they are our friends, but you know, if you're watching this video two months from now, then I argue that maybe they're not on your side anymore. Uh, I generally do take a more conservative approach when it comes to, I guess, price predictions for farm tokens. Uh, but this is a good way to think about it. So takeaways, you know, be humble, take profits over time, no one can time the top, play the long game, not the 10x in a week game. And by the, the, by the long game, I don't mean like the long game for DinoSwap, just in general for farming, right? Just if you make like 10% a month from farming, just do that on the calculator, right? Like if you start with $1,000 and you compound 10% for 12 months, you're gonna triple your money. Uh, I did the math. So, you know, just don't be too greedy, be humble. There's nothing wrong because t the way you survive in crypto or the way you make it in crypto is by surviving, right? Because everything is gonna trend up over time, at least in my opinion, uh, not financial advice. Um, so 
uh, let's not go over that. Uh, so let's go over the moves that I've been making. Um, so I bought the dip. I bought the dip a little bit around 2.30, um, right before I slept last night. Um, you can see it here. Um, my Avi borrow amount is a little higher because when I first took profits, when I made this announcement, uh, I essentially paid down some of my, bet, so some of my debt to 7.4K. But over time, uh, in the past couple of days, I added roughly $3,000 to my position. And you can see it here. And I have a podcast dropping tomorrow with token tax, right? Discussing taxes with crypto farming and the yield farming in general. And I encourage everyone to start tracking uh, how much money you're actually putting into these things and how much uh, profit, uh, whether it be realized or unrealized. Uh, so this is how I've been doing it. Um, so this is how much I put into Dino, right? So this is how much debt uh, I've been accumulating on Aave. And this is uh, how much my balance has been on Dinosaur here, right? And I've been logging this every night before I sleep. I just filled this up uh, for the fifth today, uh, just so I can like kind of show you how I do it. But you know, right now my Aave position is 10,318. On Dino, I have 19.7K. So, okay, it's a little outdated. Okay, so, something like this. So my profits are like 9,400, right? Uh, because I thought that I can just give these tax softwares my wallet address and then they do everything for me, but uh, it's not guaranteed, right? Uh, for something like Uniswap, Aave, Curve, like those major uh, crypto applications, yeah, it can support it. But with all these obscure farms that you might be entering every single week, uh, it's not guaranteed that this tax software can pick up how much you put in, how much you put out, uh, how much you lost, how much you won, etc. Because, you know, by tax season next year, you don't wanna be the guy going through thousands of transactions and be like, did I make money off of this? Oh shoot, uh, <laughs> because it's gonna make your life a lot more difficult. So I encourage all of you to, you know, just a simple three column table, just like how much you put in, just update it over time. And personal finance wise, like you should do this anyways, uh, regardless of like taxes or not. Uh, so, you know, just, I encourage everyone to do this just in case tax software, uh, whatever you end up using, um, doesn't work. So look out for that video I'm dropping tomorrow. I think it's really useful. And you know, if you're trying to be a humble citizen of whatever country you're in, you know, paying taxes is important. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. What are your thoughts? You know, is the dino, okay, it's up, it's up a little bit. You know, is, is the Stegosaurus real? Uh, is the Stegosaurus just a meme? Am I gonna get wrecked? What are your thoughts? Uh, and you know, let me know what you're doing today. So thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and have fun farming out there.